Hi everyone, welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to show you how to batch edit inside Glorify. This allows you to edit and customize multiple images at once, thereby allowing you to fast track your workflow and create variations of your designs at scale. Let me show you how to do this. As you can see, I've got a set of e-commerce images over here. I'm going to select these and duplicate them as perhaps I have another product that I want to replicate these designs for, as many e-commerce brands will have a catalog of products where they have to use the exact same design and just simply switch out the information and product. This is where batch editing can be extremely useful as well as for your ad creatives and so much more. The way it works is that you simply select multiple canvases at once and you'll notice within the edit panel, the selections available. This includes images, images inside shapes, text layers, as well as colors, all ready to be replaced across all of the different canvases selected. We'll start with the image at the top. As you can see from the information, we have three images that this particular layer is impacting. If I replace this, it'll replace three images across my selections. The way this works is via the layer name. The images that have the same layer name will be synced within this option over here. And you'll notice within images inside shapes, there's only one image inside that, which is this particular image, which will get replaced when I use this option. The text layers as well is synced via the layer name or the text input, which also replicates within the layer name. Let me show you inside the layer panel so you have an understanding. Here are the layers and you'll notice the image is called fab image as well as this image over here, which is also fab image. And finally, this image over here, which is also fab image. Hence why there's three layers of these images available. And here you have the layer name shape, which is why there's only one version of this. And you'll notice the text goes by the text input go air, and hence why these layers are synced together, ready to be edited collectively. The same principle goes for the colors, except that it's based on the color code. So any color code that matches across multiple designs is available to customize across all of them. Now let's go ahead and start to replace the contents. Let's move this along. I'm gonna start by replacing the images. I'll go to my uploads and we'll open a new product that I have over here. Pat these headphones. Great, and we'll go ahead and click replace. As you can see, the product has been replaced across all the images selected successfully. However, I'm not happy with the crop. As you can see, the crop is not accurate. The reason why this image has fit into this crop is because the original product was exactly this size. To override this, simply go over to this option over here and select reset crop on replace. With this selected, we'll try this again. As you can see now, the full product is now visible. Now, of course, it'd be ideal to remove the background across all of these product images as well. The great news is that you can do this as well by simply choosing the remove background option over here. Just like that, the background has been removed across all of the product images. Now, of course, we may have to adjust these manually just a little bit to fit into the image a bit better. But no doubt, most of the process has been covered for you. Great, let's go ahead and replace the lifestyle image too. We'll go to Pixabay. Let's pick something like that. Great, that looks kind of cool. Scale it down. Perhaps we don't need that. Great, so I'm happy with that. All right, let's go ahead and change the text. Sort of go air, I'll choose go headset. Now, notice the text is a bit too large and long, so we can go to the edit option and scale the text down just a tad. Great. And then we can use our arrow keys to move them in the right position, scale them a bit lower. So it allows you to edit all of them at once. Great, I'm happy with that. And true wireless earbud will change into true, true wireless headset. Fantastic. 
And we can of course customize the rest of this if we wish. And just like that, we have a new set of images for an entirely different product ready to go. That's it for this tutorial and I'll see you in a future video. Thank you.